Well, in that case, it's a perfect time to catch Rocco's quest from Nose Jones, so take it away. Hello, everyone. I am Nose Jones. This is Rocco's quest. My lovely commentators today are... I'm Johnny the God. I'm Bum Hobo Carl. I'm really excited to be uh, commenting on this game. I've been looking forward to showing everyone. It's, uh, excited. <coughs> Uh, my sound is killing me. <laughs> and there's uh, Mooch blowing his intro. Uh, the big intro Good blowing idea. it. Uh, okay, let's, let's move let's on. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, so this is something we don't do really common in the Rockers Quest speedrunning community. We don't watch the intro. But it's really our only source of the story. And I, I want, you know, I don't want the, uh, you and Twitch chat to not know the story of this game. So... Uh, timer starts uh, when I hit start game, but we're gonna watch the intro. We don't do it normally. Just to let you know. The intro certainly is something. If I uh, do say so myself. Yeah, I don't think I've. Uh, it's amazing. I don't think I've watched it since the first time I played. Honestly, I try not to. I try not to. It's crusty quality. We see a uh, skeleton causing a massive forest fire, killing hundreds, if not thousands. Yes. Here's our hero. Titular protagonist. Rocco. Good time to mention this. Uh, anywhere else that's uh, not North America, this is a game that's going to be called Grouch. But here it's going to be called Rocco's Quest. Just important for anyone in home. This game. Uh, yeah, one I am so sorry about that. Yeah, this is a good time to mention. This game, but... Is that any better? Not very well known, but certainly a classic. Rescue the damsel in distress. Certainly, we haven't seen that. Uh, is the is the video choppy still, or should I deliver it some more? Okay, one second. I will lower it some more. I'm so sorry about this. I, internet's acting weird, apparently. Uh. There's still lag. Okay. Well, I will just continue then. Uh, okay. So, uh, three, two, and no, that's fine. Uh, Three, two, one, go. Uh, so this is uh, Rocco's class. So, sorry about the technical issues. Uh, it's a 3D platformer for the PC, so you can you know walk in all four directions. You can jump, you can dodge, uh, and of course you can attack with that nice sword. So. Um, we're not going to be doing any of that with this, because Rocco has a very special ability. Yes. Rocco can just start flying. Oh, and this is, time, this is the run. The wall. Oh. I'm going to do what I do, fly the fly. Oh. Big tech. So yeah, first boss. Half uh, the first boss. Yeah, it's interesting level design where uh, there's actually two bosses for the first boss, but you fight them separately for some reason. Hmm. There's Lord Bear uh, giving us all of us, all of us trouble, uh, one way or another. The boxes like I are extremely janky. Uh, 
worse than Dark Souls. Is, you know, that's, that's the best way to put it. And I, I am have, getting really, really bad luck right now. I have all, almost always have trouble with uh, Unfortunate that's there, but I can. TV show scrubs. Luckily, the health saves, so I don't have to restart from the beginning. Yeah, I just that's go back and something that's them pretty nice is that enemies don't respawn and health doesn't go back up, so you can just fly back over and uh, finish what you started. You really wouldn't expect that in a game like this. You'd expect everything to restart and you have to do it all over again, but. Rocket was gracious. Right, so despite being at a uh, pretty bad start, it's looking up. Uh, this is level two. Oh man, I hate this level. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, good time to mention that this game has a uh, falling damage. Nose Jones is a wizard at, uh, you know, avoiding that, but you will see it. It's deceptive. Also fire damage. I'm getting very bad luck right now. This is unfortunate. Mm. Uh, I guess this is this is melee con luck right now. Um, Always without 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 fail. All right, got to the level two boss. Black Knight boss. over here. Monty Python fans. Uh, yeah, this dude. Uh, I do not like him. Um, but what is cool about uh, Rocco's Quest is that there's two versions of the game. There's North American and European. And in the European version, you can actually dismember enemies. That's going to be the Grouch version. And yes, yeah, so like you saw his arm fell off there with the shield. That's because you can dismember. In the North American version, you can't do that. So that's why we do the European version, because it's a little bit faster. It really uh, helps out. Uh, it's, uh, Where are you, fucking idiot? Yeah, uh, but, I mean, uh, Black Knight's always hard. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes here. This is not looking too hot. I hope I can recoup this time on the other levels. I probably can. Definitely, man. Uh, level, level two's one of the harder ones. Uh, Just the pathing is crazy. Good time to mention there's no uh, steering wheel in the air. It's incredibly hard to steer Rocco Crouch when he's in the air. Unfortunately, when you lose all your lives, the enemies do respawn. So he got his arm back. Moose? That can be coughing, but thank you. And just like that. Alright, finally took down level two's boss, uh, making our way over to level three. level uh it's be hard it used to used to be a little little little, little challenging at first but we got it we got it. well nose got over it. yeah uh, a lot of a lot of routing changes over the past uh, month and a half on this level specifically oh, yeah. making it much more consistent much faster and much more interesting although i just missed the yep. boss room that is not good slowly lower down that oop. nice okay, there we go nailed it dude perfect yeah, you really want to be careful on this one. Uh, easy to cheese, but yeah, just want to swing it. It's uh, yeah. easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is one of the easier yeah. boss fights, yeah. I think, but uh, yeah. getting there is, is pretty yeah. tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just as I say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good thing I got that extra life from the uh, level 2 boss, I guess. Uh. Do you have time for a few donations? No. Uh, yes, no, maybe so. I, I don't think now, just because I'm about to... Actually, yeah, yeah, like uh, one donation while I'm walking over to the level four. Sure thing. OD Lazus donates $10, saying, I've never been able to catch a live GDQ before, so I'm glad I can help out such a great cause. Much love from the UK. 
Alright, so now we are making our way over to level 4. Uh, one of the more straightforward uh, levels. It's pretty much a straight shot to the uh, boss room, but the bosses can be a bit finicky depending on your luck. Ah, uh, yes, the bosses, the well known inside joke. Uh, yes, awesome uh, possum RB date. Awesome uh, possum RB date, Awesome possum. Smo and Smo, as we like to call them. Yeah, that's uh, what Carl was referring to, as we refer to the uh, level 4 bosses. Smo and Smo. Um, Ornstein and Ornstein make a appearance in level 5. Uh, Shout out to Warbucks Jr. Bob. I guess. That actually is, uh, I do want to shout out Lobos Jr. Uh, speaking of Dark Souls, again, uh, he got me into speedrunning, uh, and he helped me bond with uh, oh, that's really nice. my commentators here, because we were all big Lobos Jr. fans, so shout out to him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know you guys, but I definitely have some I used to be into it. It's cute. Uh, to make up for that fairly good level four, uh, we are now doing the most difficult level uh, in the run. Uh, uh, this yes. is level five. My favorite. And uh, I think to just fill time, and because I think chat might find it to be an interesting story, uh, Carl, why don't you tell your story uh, about the uh, PB oh, run we had here? Yeah, dude, this was coming. It was <laughs> very unfortunate. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I mean, uh, sure. Uh, so, I mean, everyone was, I think everyone, almost everyone was here. Carl was here. Uh, mm. I was. On uh, Transcendental's Zen meditation mode, I was I was flying through levels. Uh, I, had, I had really bad couple of days too, where I was just not hitting what I wanted. And unfortunately, we, we all we, have, but, we all have yeah. that. I'm sure it's, it's not no one's here strength to that. But I mean, eventually, I, yeah, I finally. <laughs> I mean, so I finally get to this level, which is I, everyone knows I hate this level. This is the worst they're level flying, possible. They're flying through. Going through yeah, it, no, I, it's not. I, I, easy peasy. My dog comes in, just screaming. I have open mic, of course, and he starts, yeah, starts screaming. It sounds like a horror movie yeah. or something. Yeah, uh, that's I, insane. I, I, I look over and she's throwing up on the floor. I'm like, I, I, I can't stop. I can't stop playing. I can't. I obviously I can't stop. I, I, I try to comfort it. He's like just throwing up everywhere. You guys saw the picture after. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it was, was crazy. A mess. I, it was an absolute mess afterwards. <laughs> and then, um, I, I mean, uh, and my dog starts like gagging. It's like it's, it's really. You guys, you guys know how gross that was. And then, I mean, eventually, I, oh, it was fine. disgusting looking. So, uh, argue over one spot of land. He sent some missionaries my way. I told him not to send them. He sent them anyways. So I annexed his uh, beautiful Roman city. Um. Up. <laughs> Uh, Oops, batteries low, plug in the headset. Um, yeah, uh, so, I mean, like, so we. we yeah, so how did, that, how did that run end, by the way? I don't remember. Uh, badly. It ended pretty badly. Uh, good to no one's surprise. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. I, I eventually. Yeah. I had a nu nuclear path down south to wipe out England and Gandhi because they dared to oppose me in the World Council, and Gandhi was taking a land that I reserved to my buddy so that he could grow back and play the game again. The problem is, like, originally with the aggression bug that they made a feature, is that Gandhi, he would lose his, his AI would, gain, would like, lose aggression per turn to eventually went to the negative numbers, which the game did not handle. So as he got, to, like, to higher negative numbers, he got exponentially more aggressive because the game could process the negatives and it just flipped out. And then they decided, let's keep that a feature. <laughs> Yeah. My end game for that game when I force my friend to play it again is that I'm going to build a ton of nuclear missiles, load them up on bases around the world, and then before anyone else can actually build nukes, because only one of the guys built the Manhattan Project, whereas I've got like mobile infantry and everyone else is like in the Industrial Renaissance era. I'm then going to, you know, make nuclear D whatever so that no one else can make nukes, and I'll have like 20 or 30 of them and be the only one with nukes, so that all the AI ones are fear state of me. Okay, so that I can enjoy watching everyone be afraid of me, because that's enjoyable. Uh-huh. Uh, so, this is the level 6 Big boss. Lizard. It's a fire, fire-breathing lizard. My lizard, you really like to spit uh, on people's face. You take off your shirt and show her your lizard, and your lizard spit in her face. 
I know where I'm going with these jokes? Not a damn clue. Do I care? Nope. Boss, the boss from Fruit. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, boss. I took out those uh, mobs earlier. They are they are the hardest part of that, and I, I don't want to. Mess yeah, up this 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 that level's. Fight. I think the hardest part is the flying through it. <laughs> yeah, level seven is uh, the bane if you don't know good movement. Like it is so <laughs> complicated, and I got it pretty good. Uh, now you'll see. Notice. It. You good? Man? Is the sword? Oh, there it is. Right, this sword uh, so, is uh, the strongest weapon in the game, but uh, nothing yeah, tells you this. It took me a while to kill that tree, but immediately, you know, took the other one out. Uh, so, this is the level seven boss. It's gonna be pretty easy to take him out. Um, now we are moving on to level eight and. Level 8 is going to be the end of the run. Uh, I should state, you know, preemptively, uh, time is going to be when the cutscene starts at the end of the run. Uh, after I kill the boss, I'm going to go under a cage and the cutscene will play. Uh, so I just want to quickly, you know, I want to thank DDQ for letting me run this. I, it's a, I'm really happy to help, uh, you know, support a great cause. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. Thank you for having us. I want to shout out the Rocco's Quest speedrunning community. Uh, want to shout out Tomac, my friend who actually, you know, uh, showed me the game. Shout out to Lobos Jr., of course, right. because he inspired me to speedrun. I'm Dudley. Shout out to uh, Jerry T. Rascals everywhere. Rascal, Rascal Lock. Uh, uh, yeah, that is Rocco's Quest. Thank you so much. Chad Rocco. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for having us, Nose Jones. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much. Alright, next up, we have, um, 